So this is just a Brinks deadbolt. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble it, see if it has any security pins or not. From what I can tell when picking, it really doesn't feel like it has any, so I'm a bit disappointed in that. I was hoping it would, hence why I bought this one, so those cheap quick set ones. <clears throat> but I'm new to lock picking, so it might be I'm just not good at feeling the pins. So I'm going to take it apart, see what's actually inside of it. Here's the cylinder. Has a little uh, decal on the bottom. You can actually repin it without taking it apart. It's a bit handy. Yes. Uh, find something to get that. Yeah, take these cylinders apart. You just push down on this little pin and then you can spin it. I don't know where my brakes key is, so I'm just going to pick it open real quick instead. I really gotta get around to getting a vice. It's hard to hold a lock like this. There we go. That took longer than usual. Oh dear, I'm already losing springs. That was just the spring to the little pin that keeps the cylinder together. And yes, this is my plug follower. It's made of duct tape and a sharpie. Shut up. Uh, let's see. Which way do I want to go from? Alright, this way. I'm at least using the plug follower to keep the springs from popping out. So, here we go. Here's our pins inside the cylinder. Oh, look at that. We actually have what looks to be two spool pins. Um, ah, there it is. Two spool pins, two regular pins, and this guy, who's a different color. I don't know why. Somewhat intriguing. Looks like he's the same size as the others, though. Huh, interesting. So, yeah, if you look at these spool pins, they're, uh, they're very small, so that kind of explains why it's so easy to get it open. You just apply enough force, and you get right. You actually push the spool pin above the shear line without even noticing it. Let's see if you can see that. Alright, yeah, this camera zoom is uh, horrible, so. Uh, let me see if I can get something. Yeah, you go. Still not the best view, but you can definitely make out those spool pins there. These two. And here's the disassembly of the other side. As well as double deadbolt deals you get. Two of them, one for each side of the door. This guy actually has two secure, no, two spool pins too. Maybe I'll uh, take the two out of the other one, make one that has four, four security pins and one regular pin. A bit more of a challenge.
And once again, I don't know where the keys actually went for this, so time to dig out the lockpick. Got pin one, got pin two, got pin three, pin four is not binding, pin five is binding, go back to pin four, and we're open. I think that pin one and pin four are spool pins would be my guess. Uh, so let's grab another cylinder here to use my plug follower. cap back on. Alright, never mind that. We'll go with the uh, duct tape plug follower. There we go. There's the key pins. And let's see if my guess was right. Pin 1, I bet, is a spool. Oh, sh ah. Well, there goes figuring out which one the spool was. Note to self, get a better plug follower. But there were indeed two spool pins.